Hello friends, I'm Meena Tilakraj, your Inner Power Optimizer and Storyteller Guide of India. And I'm going to speak to you about my journey from being a very, very bad student in school to becoming the Inner Power Optimizer and uh, somebody who lives life and who would like to inspire everybody else to live it out. Friends, I am the eldest of five and my, in spite of being a girl, my birth was celebrated. I, uh, I was very popular amongst my uh, family and extended family. Everybody loved me. I was very curious. I wanted to learn things and know things. I used to ask so many questions and I was very girly also. I wanted to learn all the girl things, uh, guriya sajana and guriya ki shadi karna and uh, you know, I wanted to learn to cook and I wanted to learn to, I was in a hurry to learn to cook, to learn to look after the house to and uh, all that. And uh, so everybody said, Meena ko dekho sab kuch karti hai. And I used to like that. And uh, the more I said it, the more I would want to do it, kind of a thing. But I was a bad student because my first day of school was extremely, extremely traumatic. And after that, I hated school. Now, as I was growing up, uh, I also was a healer because I was very emotional, I was very sensitive, and I could not bear to see people in pain, which is there even now. It upsets me. I could not bear to see dirt dirty and I could not bear to see anyone in pain or misery or something. I would steal things from the house and go and gift it off to people and things like that. So this carried on and I grew up and I was an average student. I had to discontinue studies because we were poor cousins, you know and we lived on hand-me-downs kind of a thing. And my cousin had taken me away to, after she got married, she had a child, uh, and they were, uh, her husband was transferred in another country, in Italy, so she took me along with her to be the maid in the house, to help her in the house. She didn't say maid, but uh, to help her in the house. And my years with them, though she told me very nice things, she said, you know, padai karke kya karna, shadi to karni hai, mein bhi to professor ho, mein ne padha tha, to, and after that, now I've got married and I cannot be a professor, I have to give up my job, so you will also, you will not be able to work or something, so why do you want to study, come on, you should see the world. So she told me all nice things, you know, so I went, but when I went, uh, life was totally different, I mean, I spent the most traumatic years over there because I was constantly working at not being chided, at not being ridiculed, at not being shouted at. I was scared. Uh, every I, I used to hate the mornings and love the nights, you know. Uh, and I still remember her husband saying, Isko to na shakal hai na akal hai. They still, those words still ring in my ears sometimes, you know. Though he sings a different tune today. Anyway, so uh, they were there for five years, but after three years, then I decided I wanted to come back. I came back. And uh, when I came back, my mother was sick. I had to look after her, this, that. And plus, we were, my family was going through very serious financial problems, so I had to start working. And uh, I applied for an air hostess's job. I got that. Of course, that also became a very big uh, issue in the family because everybody said, "Ladkiya, hostess, hamare khandan mein koi nahi bani. Ye koi kam hai ladkiyon ke liye kitne kitne din bahar rehengi and all, you know." So it was not sub considered to be a good job for a uh, for girls from respectable families. But then I said, "Inko bolne do, maine to karna." Hai. So anyway. And uh, then uh, proposals came for me, and when proposals came to me, the one which I, which was finally selected, 
uh, I kind of turned them away, I frightened them away by saying ki aapko dowry kyun chahiye. I always used to think dowry is to be given as a penalty for a girl who has something lacking about her. So I said, aapko kya chahiye? Kyun chahiye? So she said, nahi, wo to dena hota hai. So I said, iska matlab aap, you're greedy. And all hell broke loose. You can imagine what must have happened. And she stomped away and she said, I'll make sure that there's no pro proposal coming to your family, for your other girls also. You have three daughters, you watch out. My mother was very angry. She, she got angry with me and she started saying things to me and all that. And I was wondering, why the hell is my mother getting angry with me and why not with her? Because she was wrong, according to me. I was protecting my family. And I was against this dowry thing. Because by now I had formed my own perceptions and my own thinking about things. So, anyway, the obvious happened, there were no more proposals because the word had traveled around and uh, whilst working, we meet a lot of people, so I met this person and I fell in love with him. And my mother had said, now you'll have to look out for uh, your own groom. I said, Mil jayega. Koi baat nahi. And she said, but make sure he is not a Christian and he is not a Muslim. And the obvious happened. He was a Muslim. Again, hell blow crew, broke loose. So my mother, when she came to know, she said, uh, I must tell you something. I said, what? So she told me something which kind of stunned me. She said, uh, like you, even when I was growing up, I, was, I wanted to do a lot of things. But I was told that girls, when they are growing up, they should not fly too high. They have to burn their wings because they have to become good mothers, good wives and good housewives and nothing more than that. I was basically a very talkative person. I still am, I guess. But I became silent after hearing this. For two days I couldn't speak. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't sleep. And on the third day, I sat next to my grandmother. My grandmother was very fond of me. She was very fond of my mother also. And my grandmother, my father and my aunt, my father's sister, they always said, Meena can do no wrong. If she's done anything, if something is wrong, she's not done it. It happened. She did not do anything wrong. I guess what they, intend, what they meant was that she didn't intend wrong, but it happened. So that's what they said. Meena ne kiya nahi galat, wo ho kiya. So, I told my grandmother to call my mother and she came and I said, Ma, I shall not burn my wings. I shall not burn my wings. And from today onwards, you shall grow new wings. I shall make them grow. Tell me all that you ever wanted to do. My mother was a little, you know, like dazed. She didn't know. She, she didn't know how her mother-in-law will respond to this. But my grandmother was great. She said, Ye hui na baat. Jao jilo. And she told my mother also. Ja. And from that day onwards, I started helping my mother do all that she ever wanted to do. And that was my first case of inner power optimizer. She wanted to learn English. I put her in English classes. She wanted to learn uh, playing the uh, harmonium. She went there. Uh, I did... Uh, 
first aid classes, uh, first aid course. She said, even I want to do. I said, okay, come along. Both of us will do together. Civil defense course. She said, even I want to do. I said, okay, let's do both together. People used to think we are two sisters. You know. So we did that. And uh, uh, when I got married, my son used to ask me questions, though I used to look for answers for him. And one thing I realized then, I said, yeah, regular education is not enough. They need something more, something more. And that's when I decided, and, and, and something happened coincidentally. Much at the same time, uh, on the one hand, I was thinking that there has to be some extra, some different education which prepares children, which prepares people to face life the way uh, I've gone through so much and I've faced life. And uh, something happened. I was invited for a last day session by a very well-known now, Apuresh Acharya of MILT, my, good, my God's Institute of Leadership Training, uh, to attend the last day because that's when they call people and they ask them to join the next course. So over there I was called and I was asked to speak about what I saw and after I spoke and uh, then uh, I, I liked it, I enjoyed it <laughs> and I said, Ye kaam achha hai. this is what I want to do. So I told him, I said, uh, can I be your assistant to learn to do this, what you're doing? So he said, uh, he said something which triggered off, you know, which is, I think, uh, uh, which is, I think, that is what made me what I am. Uh, he said, uh, are you crazy? Why should I take on a competitor? And when he said that, I knew I could do it. And after I went home, uh, I, I started thinking for a few days, I thought over it. And in the next six months, I prepared two workshops, uh, effective communication and uh, Personality Plus. And, and uh, Personality Plus was all about confidence also. So I did those and I became a pioneer in 1983 in alternative education. So that's my journey, friends. I hope that inspires you. And let me tell you, uh, in my workshops also, I always say I don't teach, I reach out to inspire. So I hope I'm able to inspire you all. Thank you.